Ever since the day when Icarus and his father Daedalus made their wings of wax, man has dreamed of flying. He can swim like a fish, he can run like a cheetah, but without a machine he cannot fly like a bird. Admittedly, he can throw himself into the void, but free falling isn't the same thing as floating in the wind. Without wings, man finds himself deprived of one of the greatest sensations. Flying over mountains and following the thermal currents is indeed only possible in a hang glider, and it's only in his dreams that man can be an eagle. Some people like to play at being human cannonballs because this number always impresses the crowd. The explosion must have made this man deaf. He can't hear the applause or the people warning him that his net has holes in it. With the invention of the airship at the beginning of the 20th century, man was able to fly over cities and even overseas. Go left, right, straight on. No, turn around. Be careful you don't get airsick. Today, airplanes have reached such perfection that they can take people more or less anywhere, and more or less whenever they want, so long as there's a runway to land on. The number of airports is growing, and these days every major city has one. Even in Hong Kong, where space is very limited, there's an airport. The runway is so narrow the pilots must really feel like they're landing on a matchstick. The helicopter is another means of air transportation. It is said that Leonardo da Vinci drew up the first plans for the rotary mechanism. This would perhaps explain the Mona Lisa's enigmatic smile. She must have thought the man painting her portrait was a madman. Flying machines, what a thought. But he who laughs last, laughs best. Da Vinci was right. Thanks to its blades, the helicopter can take off and land vertically. This vehicle is often used in emergencies. Jet planes are the fastest. They can fly so fast they can break the sound barrier. What a deafening noise. Don't bother looking up, it's already far away. A jet's like a sprinter who leaves his shadow behind when pulling away. For more peaceful traveling with your head in the clouds, there are hot air balloons. Filled with heated air, they get carried along by the winds. They rise serenely up into the sky, and their passengers can admire the landscape that unfolds at their feet. You can also make flying objects at home. For most children, the paper plane is their first contact with aerodynamics. Man has been trying to defy gravity for a long time and today he has found ways of taking advantage of it. Bungee jumping is an amazing sport with extreme sensations. Is this man the right way up or upside down? It doesn't look like he knows what his exact position is. Maybe he thinks he's turned into a human yo-yo. On Earth, man has only known how to fly for a century, but maybe others elsewhere have more experience in the field. Who knows? Who's your